Passo a palavra agora para o professor é, Stuart Bann, da Griffith University, e coordenador geral da Aliança na Austrália. Bem-vindo, professor Stuart. Welcome. Uh, welcome, everyone. Let me just share my screen with you. Hopefully you can uh, hear me and to see uh, um, my presentation. I can't see anyone there, so if someone can give their thumbs up, Junior, or the, that you can hear me okay, that'd be great. All right, that's great, thank you. Um, well, it's a great pleasure to be here and to see so many familiar faces again, um, even though it's at, at great distance and, and through um, a video screen. Um, I wanted to give a, a bit of a, an introduction to um, the background to establishing the Tropical uh, Research Alliance. And really just to say that we have been in discussions about building a water research alliance now since 2013. Um, this, this proposal to, to establish collaborations really began with um, discussions between uh, the Australian government and also between the government of Queensland and the state of Minister, Minas Gerais. Um, there was quite a lot of interest in establishing a tropical research alliance at that time. And one of the areas that was considered to be a priority was water research. And the feeling at that time, if you remember, that Brazil was in the middle of a very terrible drought and there was interest in drawing on Australia's experience uh, in sustainable water management and the lessons uh, that we had learned during the millennium drought. Um, there are clearly lots of similarities between our countries in terms of climate, um, in terms of our biogeography. Um, and so there was quite a lot of interest in sharing experiences uh, in, um, in research on water management with a particular focus on research that could support and improve uh, water management. Those initial discussions continued. We, there were a number of uh, official delegations that came from Australia to Brazil in 2015. And, and on those occasions, we met with a, a, a range of different organizations and industry groups, university partners uh, right across Brazil, I think, uh, that particular meeting, we had over 30 meetings um, in a 10-day period. And there were subsequent meetings that we held supported by the Australian government, by Austrade and the embassy uh, at the end of 2015. A number of uh, workshops were held at that time. Since that time, uh, we have been collaborating with our colleagues, particularly uh, my good colleague, Junior Gonçalves at the University of Brasilia and his team um, to develop what is currently a, a, our a Tropical Water Research Alliance proposal. And this has involved a range of different activities, uh, establishing formal MOUs between our respective universities, um, encouraging and supporting student exchange and joint supervision between partner universities, taking part in joint workshops. And there've been a number of workshops that we've held um, in Brazil. Um, we were very actively involved in the ecosystems theme of the World Water Forum that was held in Brasilia in 2018. And we've since held a number of workshops uh, as uh, recent as last year uh, in Brasilia and Curitiba and Florianopolis. Um, and then finally, at the end of last year, of course, uh, a delegation from Brazil uh, visited Australia and they attended the Australian Freshwater Science Society meeting and uh, visited uh, Griffith University again for a, another series of workshops. I should say that at the same time, um, not related to our efforts to establish a research alliance, there has been interested, interest as well between the Australian government through the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade and the National Water Agency in Brazil. 
And our institute has been one of the collaborating partners with that collaboration with your National uh, Water Agency. Uh, one of their senior staff, Marco Neves, uh, was a visitor for several months in 2018 to Griffith University. Um, you may also be aware that the state of Queensland has established a MOU with CMPQ um, that was uh, signed in March 2018 and there's certainly been interest in continuing those workshops and discussions and water research is one of the priorities that have been identified there. And most recently with our relationship with the National Water Agency, one of their staff, Alexandra Lima, um, has enrolled to start his PhD. Um, unfortunately for Alex, he was, he's now stuck in Belo Horizonte at his mother-in-law's house, uh, waiting to get approval to fly to Australia. So although he started as a virtual candidate, um, he hopefully will be able to visit Australia uh, very soon. I'll explain a little bit about the beginnings of the tropical research and uh, tropical rivers and coastal knowledge uh, alliance that we established in Australia in 2006. And this is a research consortium that was developed to provide science and knowledge for governments and communities to inform the sustainable management of tropical rivers and estuaries across Australia. And we set that up uh, with a major partnership with several universities, um, a range of other major research partners across the country. So it was a, a collaboration of over 100 researchers. Uh, we were able to attract uh, over $25 million from various government agencies. And the research that we undertook at that time was very much focused on research to inform uh, water resource planning across uh, Northern Australia. Since that time, a core group of researchers in Australia has continued that work in, in the North. Uh, and it's been funded over that time through various federal government initiatives aimed um, at uh, looking at environmental water issues um, across Australia. And so, uh, as you can see in this particular slide, uh, we've continued that uh, effort across the Tropical Alliance on issues around biodiversity conservation um, in our recent um, hubs, looking at sustainable development and uh, water quality issues. Our current proposal as we lead into 2021 and over the next few years is to develop several other new pr proposals. We're currently uh, developing a new proposal under the National Environmental Science Program. Uh, it won't be uh, specifically focused on tropical issues, but will have a very strong presence in Northern Australia. Um, my university is actively involved in developing a new cooperative research centre proposal on water security, uh, which we aim to, to look at a broad range of water issues again uh, across Australia. And there are other funding opportunities uh, that we're pursuing to support the work that we propose to continue to do under this alliance. So the proposed Tropical Water Alliance really is aimed at providing that network of researchers working in tropical systems, subtropical systems uh, from Australia and Brazil. Um, our key interest in doing that is to support the exchange of staff and students and to be a platform to, to identify opportunities for jointly funded research activities uh, between our two countries. The advantages, of course, of a collaborative model, as we've found, is that if we each continue to do our own work, um, working within our own states, um, we're often find that we're tackling very similar research issues and management problems and doing those in isolation. Uh, often we find that in doing that, uh, individual researchers are constrained by the available expertise and the resources that they can have to tackle those problems on their own. And often the really difficult questions, the really complex problems that we're seeing in water management are unlikely to be addressed because simply we don't have the expertise or the resources to do them. 
The advantages of having a collaborative model, establishing models within our own countries, of course, is with that national coordination, we're able to share experience and resources with other states. And that's particularly important, I think, at times when funding is, um, is, is very tight and it's very difficult to uh, get the resources to conduct our research. So this is a way to draw on the best expertise, to coordinate that research investment, and really pull together the resources to be able to tackle those complex issues. The idea, of course, of having that international collaboration is it allows us to share that experience and expertise more broadly. It allows us to explore the same issues in different management and policy settings, and it also provides the resources uh, for staff and student exchange and, and workshops between our two countries. And of course, it also opens up the opportunity to expand our networks more broadly than Australia and Brazil and, and take part in other international initiatives that our various countries are hosting, including uh, the one I've mentioned there, which is the Sustainable Water Future Program, which is the global water science program established under Future Earth, uh, which is hosted uh, within our institute. So what will we do under the Tropical Alliance? I think our intention was to focus on common challenges for sustainable water management. And, and, and I've listed there some examples of the kinds of uh, play ways in which science can assist in achieving better environmental and social outcomes. And also, of course, associated with that um, economic outcomes. And these include a whole range of things about how do we make better decisions about water sharing and in particular, protecting uh, water for the environment? How do we develop better planning tools to guide the protection of high value uh, areas for conservation or investments in restoration? How do we develop better tools for monitoring and reporting the health of aquatic ecosystems? And how might we improve community engagement in water planning, and particularly um, in both of our countries uh, for indigenous stakeholders? So these are just some of the ideas uh, that we've been discussing as some priority issues where our research uh, can have some real impact. I think just to conclude, I um, welcome the opportunity to be here today at the launch of the website of this alliance. I think the website provides uh, an important portal for that co uh, collaboration and, and hope that it helps to build our collaborations uh, in water science more broadly into the future. So. Thank you again for the opportunity and we look forward to welcoming and, and working with you uh, into the future. So thanks very much. Thank you, Professor Stewart. It's really nice to see you and the sun rising up behind you. It's really beautiful. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Obrigada, né, professor Stuart? Estava comentando que era, era bom tê-lo aqui e que o sol está né, tá amanhecendo lá na Austrália. Bonito também de ver, não sei se vocês tiveram a oportunidade.